welcome to Grand and Marine in Orange Beach, Alabama here on the Gulf Coast. We are going to do a walkthrough video today on our 2018 38 Fountain. This is a gray one that is rigged with triple 350 Mercury's. We've got Chris up there, he's going to do a lot of the talking here. We've got a beautiful dive door. And like I said, we're, we've got her rigged with white Mercury 350s. And she's got underwater lights. You see the high speed pickups there. We're going to walk right up the dive door here. We're going to hand it over to Chris. Hello. Welcome aboard our 2018 Fountain 38 Center Console. This boat has some really nice new additions a lot of people haven't seen before for this year. Um, starting with this dive door here, it's uh, completely newly engineered and um, the function's really nice. You can see it opens all the way, 180 degrees. It's got a recess right here in the liner so that the handle can allow it to tighten all the way up. Another cool feature, you know a lot of doors they leak, they swing out. This one swings in but it actually uses the handle to push and pin itself tight. You know, so it's, it's real stout. It's big stainless hinges. You got a ladder bracket there for your ladder. But um, we not only have the dive door, you got this walk-through transom here. You know, it's got a magnet, nice solid acrylic door, holds it open. There's a slide out the transom ladder, fresh water shower right here in the um, transom as well. Okay. Now we'll stick here in the back. Uh, Something new this year, this is the new rear seating that they've added that goes on top of the two 52-gallon live wells. You can see under this right here, big 52-gallon well, high-speed pickup, 1,500-gallon power pump running to it. Also, these backrests you know, are on an eight-rod transom rod rack. Um, I kid you not, sitting in this thing is like sitting on the sofa at your home. I mean, it's super comfy. Nice footrest you can see here as well. So, uh, big cockpit on this boat, lots of room, um, new nautical designs tackle center here, it's um, lots of storage, you, know, you can make this a wet bar, you can make this a, you know, a rigging station if you'd like, you got a nice sturdy door here that gives you lots of workspace, you can take the tackle trays, you know, take them out of here on the sides, they fit nicely here, when you get done doing what you're doing, you can throw them away. Nice drawers on this side, starboard drawers on both sides all the way around. And um, just works out really nice for doing your rigging. You see cup holders, rod holders on top here. You have your rods right here. Just a good workstation. Um, more storage inside the box. You know, I put my harnesses and lure bags and all that stuff in that big hole. Um, moving forward here, if you see the deck. You got a 300 quart box here in the floor and another one just forward of that. Okay, so that's two per side. They each have their own overboard discharge pump on them and they're really big. Uh, you know, Sharon, who was just on here earlier, we had her crawling one to take a picture the other day. Plenty of room. Uh, well insulated too. Fish boxes are using a, a one inch foam core, you know, which has good insulating properties and they're spray foam in the outside of the boxes. Uh, show you how big they are. You know, big deep box. You see, you know, goes up under the deck there. It's about five and a half foot long. And um, fountain has really large channel drains built into each of these boxes. And a good lip with the, you know, see the rubber seals built and CNC cut into the, the bottom of the deck lid. Creates a very nice seal. Um, airtight, watertight, keeps the water from getting in your boxes. And you can see, I, I don't know, we, we've had a lot of rain over the last couple weeks and I hadn't turned the pump on, you can see this box is dry, sitting right here. Nice stainless gas shocks on all the deck lids as well. Compression latches. Um, moving forward, you know, you got your fresh water on this side, raw water on the other side. Your J Auto speakers all have um, speaker light rings on them, so it's your blue lights, so it's really cool at night. Um, nice sound system standard on this boat, you know, with two 10-inch subs. 
and 6, 7.7 to 8.8 inch speakers. Uh, moving forward here to the helm, you know, something really nice about fountain power boats, you know, they've got a really nice comfortable helm where you can sit down and drive and lock yourself in. And you got a fold up armrest right here. Just push the pin up, up or down, you know. Um, you got a nice foot rest on the console, nice foot rest built on the leaning post. So if you're tall, short, you know, you, anybody can get comfortable with this helm seat. You also have a cushion right here at your knees, you know, nice combing pad on the front of the console. You know, you can stay comfortable and sit down while you're running in rough seas. Um, new dash here, um, nice seat deck pad, um, as well as your overhead dry box storage. 16 inch screens fit really nice on here. Muscle View 7 here. All of your switching, um, very well noted. Just scan through that slow sharing so they can see the, the different options. You know, multicolor overhead lights, multicolor chart lights, underwater lights, or multicolor standard. Uh, all your fish boxes, even um, accessory blue lights on your cup holder lighting. Your uh, VHF built-in AIS is right here on the dash, easy to get to. Push button start, you know, windless control right here. Just a very nice organized helm. Full acrylic windshield right here. Um, gives you great visibility. Keeps wind and any water and any rain situations off you. It's a moving midship here on the boat. You know, you can see under the gunnels, we got really nice rod holders with built-in sea deck, you know, storage. It's nice and soft. You know, protects your reels. You can put your dock lines there, your chamois. Another real big in pool of fish box. Moving up here to this, uh, this literally cavernous open bow. It's a ton of room up here. Even with the new liner, with the new integrated forward seat, and it's still a fisherman's dream up here. Um, nice rod lockers in the floor right here. It's a good place for dry storage. They're about seven foot long. Your big rods will fit in there. Um, forward seat and integrated. You know, so it's about eight foot long overall, you know, so tall guys can remove the backrest and take a nap on them, you know, on your overnighters or the, you know, ladies can really lounge on them and get comfy. It's a nice little space. You can tuck, tuck your shoulder, part of your body up under the cap here as well. And um, cup holders where you need them, lights where you need them. Um, also note the, uh, under the cushions for the forward seating, we got seat deck. So, you know, nice, good casting platform all the way around if you want to take the cushions off. Also, you know, once again, stainless shock on here. Lots of storage up under the forward seating. You know, good dry storage there. Um, moving forward, I really like the way they did this, you know, because I got this, this step right here. It's a good transition to get to the bow. You know, so if you got a tall dock and you're climbing up and down to the bow, or if you're working a fish and throwing a popper or something, you got a lot of room up here to hang out. Um, easy access here. I got the windlass in here. Comes out of the bow. You can't even see it right now where we're sitting. There's a handheld remote there. Also a control on the dash. You know, comes with uh, plenty of road and chain. Um, also, you'll note all the extra rod holders we've installed around the boat. So 360 degrees all around this boat. You can install as many rod holders as you want. Um, you also, I mentioned those other four fish boxes, box under my feet here, it's 800 quarts and it's six foot long, so there's a lot of room in it. It's got an overboard discharge pump as well. You can see it's a couple foot deep there, about three and a half foot wide, about six foot long. So it's a big, big kill box. You know, you can easily fit a two, three hundred pound tuna in there if you had to. Um, under the seat here, we've got uh, about a 70 quart insulated cooler. It works nice for, you know, drinks or food or what have you underneath here. And a nice acrylic lid on it as well. Keeps it airtight. Nice gasket on it. Big bow here, as you can see. Lots of room. All right, moving to this uh, cabin here. Nice acrylic lid. Um, plenty of room down here. Do your business. Head with overboard discharge. Sour sink. You got access to your forward transducer in front of the first step under that hatch. Access to your sending units on your front fuel tank right here. Um, you know, the boat's equipped with a nice battery system, VSR. 
you know, each of your engine starting batteries, house batteries, emergency parallel, individual breakers, keys in here, push button start on the dash. Um, once you get back here, it's really nice. Everything's organized. You know, got all your mercury stuff on this side. Autopilot pump, power steering pump, trim tabs, battery charger. All your AGM batteries here bolted down. Lights. Easy to get to. It is lit in here. You can see there's lights. Um, anything that you don't want to get your hands on is behind this panel. You know, if it were to shock somebody or something. Um, you can see your fuse is there. Nicely labeled. Um, fuse bus here. One's for your amp, two's for your electric reel outlets. Notice all the cup holders. You know, they all got big tubes on them to drain. You know, not in the console, but on the deck. NEMA 2000 bus. Um, lots of space in here. You know, it's real easy to work on stuff. Our mechanics have been uh, been very happy with the setup. And that's about it. One more one more run around here. I can show you the bilge compartment as well, actually. Um, the bilge lazarette. Huge floor space in there. You can fit four or five gallon buckets right there. I get those little rubber deals that go on the bottom of them. Works out nice. Boat comes standard with two 1500 gallon per hour pumps. Overboard discharge, there's your Y valve. Easy to get to. Dual live wells. Um, your fresh water and raw water pumps are on each side. And you've got a valve down here that when you just want to have the fish boxes drain overboard, you just open them up. You know, it's just well thought out. Back around the outside of the boat. Um, you can see nice stainless transom plate. Very clean. Um, we've been running 23 inch inertia ecos on this uh, triple 350 setup. It's been yielding some, some real amazing efficiency. I've seen as high as 1.7 miles per gallon at 38. You know, as much as 1.6 at, you know, 48 mile an hour. And um, top speeds in the upper 70s. You know, 76 to 77 and a half. Um, triple 400 boats are running six or seven mile an hour faster than that. Um, either way, plenty fast, lots of efficiency, lots of range. We've been tournament fishing these boats, um, you know, overnight trips. You know, still averaging over a mile per gallon, fully loaded on the way out, and averaging about 1.3 miles per gallon, you know, on the way back. You know, real efficient. 418 gallons of usable fuel on this boat. You know, gives you gives you easily a 500 mile range. Um, we took one to the Bahamas, um, covered 600 miles in the boat, and I want to say we burnt 492 gallons. I was fully loaded with 11 people. It's a uh, just a heck of a long range fishing platform, cruising platform, whatever you want to do with it. Anyhow, well, thank you for looking. Um, we're Grander Marine, Orange Beach, Alabama fountain dealers here on the uh, northern gulf coast right here near the panhandle please call us with any questions be glad to take you for a sea trial on one of these babies thank you